February 9th. Now, yesterday, the church celebrated the feast of St. Joseph in Bikita, but also yesterday is the feast of St. Jerome Emiliani. St. Jerome was born in the late 15th century, and he was known as an irreligious and foolhardy soldier of the city-state of Venice. Intriguingly enough, also where St. Josephine Bikita's family lived, when the family from Italy who had brought her over from Sudan, obviously many centuries later. St. Jerome Emiliani, though because he was foolhardy as a soldier, was imprisoned by enemy forces. And during that time of imprisonment, he had quite a bit of opportunity to think, to think about his life, to think about his decisions, to think about his choices, to think about the grave mistakes that he had made and how he was not living his life as God wanted him to live his life. And it was here in prison they learned how to pray. And then he was able to escape from prison and return to his native Venice. And there he began to care for his nephews, who had been abandoned. And then he began to recognize and realize that there were many in his city-state that were abandoned, especially the orphans, the poor. And so he, at his own expense, began to care for orphaned children, opening up even an orphanage and a center of education to rear these children up that they might become capable of leaving the situation and circumstance that life had given to them and that they could not only advance socially, intellectually, and properly, but also that they could advance spiritually, religiously, charitably. St. Jerome Emiliani created or developed an order of priests, the religious of Somoska, and he began it with two other priests. And these three priests, caring for orphans and educating them, also looked to tend to the poor and to the sick, particularly in a pestilential age. There was a plague going through the north of Italy similar to what we're experiencing today, but even deadlier. And in 1532, um, St. Jerome started to obviously care for them and, and consider them and bring them close to his heart, to serve them, as Christ himself has taught, the one who came to serve and not to be served. And while tending the sick, St. Jerome himself became sick. He contracted what they themselves were suffering, and five years later, died. But nevertheless, he died as one who loves the poor, loves to serve, and above all, loves Christ. Saints in the making, you and I are given the grace to love Christ above all things. Let us pray daily through the intercession of St. Jerome Emiliani, you and I may prefer him above all things, that we might be charitable and loving and attentive to the poor and to the sick, those who feel most isolated, those who are most alone, those who feel as if they have no one, and those who have no one. Let us, you and me, reach out to them, and together we'll make space for grace.